Hi, and welcome to Psych 230, Introduction to Statistics. I'm your instructor, Dr. Z. I'm excited to introduce you to the real life world of statistics. This video will provide a general orientation to our course in Canvas. As you can see, we're on the course homepage. On this left navigation pane, you can see that we have nine sections. The second section is announcements. Throughout the semester, I will use this area to post announcements related to the course. I recommend that you check this area weekly. Additionally, once the course begins, there will be an area up here at the top of the homepage where the two most recent announcements will always appear. I strongly encourage you to change or modify your notification settings to ensure that announcements are also emailed to you. The third section is the concourse syllabus. When you click on this section, it will bring up the course syllabus, which looks like this. It is extremely important to read and understand the course syllabus. Please download and print the syllabus to keep in case of issues with technology. Additionally, you'll be able to use a printed copy of the syllabus for your assignments this week. The fourth section is the course schedule. This section provides a summary of all the assignments for the course in chronological order. Since we'll be covering a lot of material this semester, I've created two helpful documents for you. The course schedule document provides a summary of the chapters, reading, assignments, and due dates for the entire semester. The semester at a glance calendar document is exactly what it says. The entire semester calendar on a single handout with all the due dates so you can see at a glance what the semester holds for you. I strongly recommend that you download and print these two documents to keep you on track this semester. The fifth section is modules. Because we're an online course, all course material will be in the module section. So let's get started. As you can see, this module is grayed out or locked. You can see the content but you cannot open or click on anything. This module is locked until a certain date. In fact, if you scroll down to the bottom of the module, you'll see the date in which the module will open automatically. Also, Canvas allows you to close and open modules just like this. As you progress through the semester, I recommend that you close modules so that it keeps you organized and focused on the current material. The structure of this course is that we will cover one chapter per week. Each week will be its own module with readings, activities, and assignments. Each module will be separated into three areas. The weekly overview, the readings and activities for the week, and the assignments for the week. I strongly recommend that you start every week with the overview because it provides a summary of the week's material. The very last module involves extra credit. Opportunities to earn extra credit may be provided in this course, but are not guaranteed. Please review the general directions for extra credit posted here on Canvas. I typically provide extra credit for attending campus events, both in-person and virtual events. I may not always review all the extra credit opportunities on a weekly basis, thus it is your responsibility to review this module and complete the extra credit if you wish. Now on to the sixth section, which is grades. I really appreciate how well organized the grades section is in Canvas. Each assignment is labeled clearly with its name, when it's due, your graded score, and how many points the assignment was out of. Additionally, what you cannot see just yet is this section right here called status. This section will provide icons for instructor comments and grading rubric. For example, I may have graded your problem set and gave you feedback on an area that you should review. An instructor comment icon would be shown here, and you will need to click on it to view my comments to you. I strongly recommend that you review grades consistently to check for these submission details. Finally, it is your responsibility to check your grade status in this course. You can do this by scrolling all the way down to the bottom and seeing your overall grade and its breakdown by the types of assignments in this course. 
but please note that this is a running grade total based on the assignments that have been graded at the time. The seventh section is people. This section provides a link to all the students enrolled in this course. You can click on this section to email specific students if you wish. The eighth section is Cisco WebEx. WebEx is our virtual meeting platform because it's approved by Maricopa Community Colleges and is integrated into Canvas. WebEx is similar to Zoom in that WebEx allows you to meet online using either audio only or audio video capabilities. I will be available for online office hours throughout the semester. Please schedule an appointment anytime you need help with the concept or have a question that may be better asked and answered in a video meeting versus an email. The Week 1 Introduction Orientation model, Module reviews directions on how to schedule WebEx meetings. The ninth and final section to this course is the Tutoring and Learning Center. CGCC has a variety of student support services available to all students. Please click on this resource if you're in need of math tutoring, science tutoring, or writing help from the Writing Center. And with that, you should have a general idea of how our course is organized. If you have any questions, please feel, feel free to email me, call me, or send me a virtual email or stop by my office. I look forward to having an awesome semester.